Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks, I play V Series Vs that we do for the water. Go over there, child food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that, Tom, I'm doing this, folks. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to eat any more nuggets for a long time. I just got through reviewing some KFC nuggets. Go watch that video. And I got reviewed, got, went over there and reviewed some uh, McDonald's McNuggets, but with the sauce, the mango, or mambo sauce. Go watch that video, too. Make my sacrifice worth it. But we'll get to that. Folks, it's a super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm going to yammer on for a bit. And whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside the truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, I'm wearing a super cool shirt. Folks, when I wear super cool shirts, I always like to highlight the super cool shirt. Excuse me. What super cool shirt am I wearing today? Well, folks, boom, it's my killer's confession shirt. I like this shirt. It's a cool shirt. Um, Killer's confession, they're banned. They've been around for several years now. Probably most notable for their lead singer, uh, who previously had been long-term lead singer in the band Mushroomhead. And several years back, there was a falling out between him and the band, though they have actually, to a certain extent, reconciled now. Uh, you know, not to the point I don't think he's going to be back in the band anytime soon, but he went over there the last time I got to see him perform. He actually performed some Mushroomhead songs, which was super fucking cool, if I'm honest with you. But I really enjoy all of his stuff, whether it's in Mushroom Head or AKC. Um, just super cool dude. The guys in AKC are really fucking cool guys. Like, you know, just, just all around. Just swell, folks. If that sounds interesting to you at all, by the way, I have video of said performances that I've attended of theirs. They're on the channel. I have an entire playlist of just concert videos I've been to. I'm going to have more tomorrow because I'm going out to a concert tomorrow. Trying to get, I'm trying. We'll see if I can do it. My record for amount of concerts in one year, 17. I'm going to try to get to 18 this year. I think I can do it. I think I can do it. But anyway, what am I trying for you today, folks? What are we doing? It has nothing to do with concerts or anything. These are just some interesting chips that I found. Boom! They are... Ha 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 ha. These are... San Carlos since 1936, Italia's number one potato chips, apparently. La Vita e Buena. Apologize for my terrible Italian. These are mint and chili pepper potato chips. All right, man. Okie doke. I mean, I like mint in pretty much everything. So that's what got me interested. Uh, and it has a little thing on the back. Life is always good with San Carlo. Uh, Vita Buena, life is good, speaks to the Italian way of living life. Life made with simplicity and filled with joy. For us Italians, it's always time to smile, to chat with friends, and share a snack together. A single bite of San Carlo will bring you straight to the heart of Italia, a place where you can indulge in the La Vita e Buena. Uh, be prepared to immerse yourself in a tasteful trip through the most iconic Italian cities. God, it just goes on. Where sensational flavors will brighten your soul and your palate. Since 1936, we are in the heart of Italians by using only prime ingredients and following traditional recipes with spring, country's finest taste. Oh, dear God. I think reading that took longer than the fucking entire history of the chips. Try some potato chips. I got these in an Italian deli. And I was like, oh, that sounds cool. I didn't realize I was going to fucking be reading a damn th fucking thesaurus. Well... I have to do it, folks, because I do it with all the chips that I review on this show, or on this show, sadly. Sorry, my brain is a little bit addled from just nuggets. Just They're just living in my brain. So many chicken nuggets. So here's the thing, right? Here's the bag. It's about the size of my head. I got a big head. Here's how many chips you actually get. Significantly less than the size of my head. I will keep bitching about this until something Changes. I don't expect it to, but I'm going to keep bitching about it. So I think it's ridiculous. Paying for fucking half a thing, more than half a bag of air. Smells good. Potato chip. Let's give it a go. Hmm.
I can see where they're going with it. It's got a little bit of a cool and like sort of a, a little bit coolness, sort of a little heat kind of thing going. I like it. Contrasting flavors. Here's the thing. Very light flavor. Very light. Maybe that's just because, you know, I mean, I live in the United States. We just, and don't get me wrong. I mean, Italian folks, y'all have some of the best fucking food on the planet. And when it comes to flavor, I mean, what can you even say? But when it comes to snacks, Americans, we definitely, we put it on kind of an, an upper tier structure, man. And we want punchy fucking flavor. Just in the time that I've been alive. I remember as a kid, when you could get, when you went over there and you got yourself some uh, barbecue potato chips. They were fine. I enjoyed them. But I remember even as a kid thinking, man, these could be way punchier. And now the barbecue potato chips that we get are just so much punchier. We like those crazy strong flavors with our chips. With this, it's very light. Very, very light. Now, who the hell eats one chip by itself? Only mutants. So, let's go over there. Let's try multiple chips together, see if we can get more of that flavor. Chip itself is nice. And it's kind of an older style potato chip, I'm noticing. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm very mixed on these. I love the idea. I think the idea is very solid. But the application... I don't know, man. The chips are okay. They're good, they're good chips. I don't have a big point of tension against the chips themselves. Um, again, they do remind me of, like an older-style potato chip. The... The fundamental problem that I'm having is that even with, like, a big old thing of chips, I'm not getting that much flavor, you know? Like, there's chip flavor, and the chip flavor's decent, and I guess maybe that's part of what they're trying to do, is sort of preserve the chip flavor. But the issue I'm having is that, fundamentally, you go over there and you say, oh, we've got some mint and chili chips. That's what I want to taste, man. I want that to be at the forefront, and then the chip flavor can be secondary. I'm not really getting a lot, you know, I'm just, again, it's kind of, you know, you eat it, you get a nice chip flavor, there's a little kind of, you know, mint and sort of chili flavor. When, when it kind of mostly dies down is when you get the most of that flavor, you know, it's kind of like almost an aftertaste kind of thing, that's where you get the most of it, but, yeah, it just, it's not, it's not prominent enough for me. I don't dislike the chips, but they're nowhere near what I was hoping for. Um, and the thing is, I don't they don't need to be crazy punchy or anything. Like I think that, you know, yeah, I think if they'd gone too far with it, the mint and the chili could have, you know, potentially, you know, been abrasive, you know, taste wise. But I think somewhere between that abrasiveness and where this where the level is of flavor on these, I think there's a middle ground that would have perfectly suited me. As they are, and they're nice chips. You know, I mean, I don't know if they're actually Italy's number one potato chips or not. Maybe that's just branding. I don't, you know. Um, but at least for me personally, no offense to, you know, San Carlo and their 1936 roots. I think that's great. Um, I don't think Lay's as much to be worried about or Pringles. I think that... Uh, if one of them decides to go over there and take this concept, though, and bring it up to those punchy American standards I was talking about, that could be something. Two questions have to be asked. Would I get them again? Would I recommend them? No, and kinda-ish. For me, I've already had them. They're fine. I don't dislike them. But they, to me, they just taste like unfulfilled potential. You know, like, I love the idea. Love it. I think it's fantastic. It just doesn't get there for me. It just doesn't get there, and it leaves me feeling feeling a little hollow inside. 
But if I'm recommending them to people, I mean, for one thing, hey, you know, your mileage may vary on it. Beyond that, they're kind of interesting. You know, I mean, they're worth a shot. I'm sure there are people who like them, and I'm sure that they're, you know, perfectly valid in their opinions. I just, I wish I liked them more, is all. Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of the week. Monday, Metro, rest of the month. rest of your Folks, you go over there every yourselves a truly proper mint and chili-tastic rest of your life. Because, again, I love the combination. But we need to do more with it. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world as soon as possible. It is, however, I always appreciate it. But what you do if you can't do all time, I know I can't do all time. Here's a good do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Especially when you're over there dealing with fucking goddamn daylight savings time. It happened like a couple days ago, and thankfully it was on a Sunday, so it didn't matter. It was like I, I didn't have anything I was doing that day or anything. It was like, cool, I just gained an hour. But the problem is, is that, whereas my phone will auto-update, my truck will not, and more importantly, my stovetop will not. And my stovetop <laughs> is oftentimes the source that I go to if I'm going to go get a drink in the middle of the night, because the stove top is there, it's got the big bright numbers. It scared the shit out of me yesterday, man. I thought I was fucking running late for work. Let's be done with it, man. Like, they just let's just be done with it, please. In my lifetime, can we please be done with daylight savings time? It's stupid. Nobody likes it. Uh, anyway, uh, it's important even in daylight savings time. Take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholesness in our lives, hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing, whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there, maybe you're going to write your goddamn congressman and be like, Congressman, no more daylight savings time, no more, it's dumb, nobody likes it, farmers don't like it, nobody likes it, it's dumb, let's be done. And congressman will be like, well, I'm a congressman, so I'm probably corrupt and useless, I don't care what side of the fence you're on. That's just politics right there. That's not a controversial fucking opinion. Sorry. If you're into politics and stuff, like I mean, you know, and I have friends who are, like, big into politics and stuff. I don't understand why. You're, if you're not a politician, why are, you, why are you, like, super into politics? I'm just gonna toss that out there. Like, yeah, why? I mean, don't get me wrong. Stay abridged of things. You know, that stuff impacts us. But, like, people get so invested. It's like, these people don't care about you. Even a little bit. Okay? Like, no, they don't. This is their career. I worked for seven years at a fucking gas station. Do you think I gave two shits and a fuck about 99% of the people who came through? I mean, I wanted them to get home safe and all that stuff, but beyond that. Anyway, bye!